Nuke6 introduces the precomp node or precomp workflow, which enables you to deal with more complex scripts in a more efficient way, as well as use a collaborative workflow with a Nuke. So in this tutorial, we'll investigate a few of its options. This script here is a very straightforward matte painting. So at the top here, we've got a sky. Then we add our live action plate, add some foreground in front of that all the way until the end, until we have a final framing. So what I want to do now is replace this whole sky business at the top with a precomp node. So I'm just going to select it and go to, uh, let's zoom in a little bit more. So our last node is crop 24. Let's keep that in mind. So now I'm going to go to the other menu and choose precomp. And that brings up a little panel that prompts us for a nuke script, a rendered sequence, channels, and what to do with the original nodes. So let's start at the top. The precomp script I want to generate with those selected nodes, I'm just going to call that sky precomp instead of the default precomp one. And the default location is where my current script is, and that's fine. And uh, then we have the render path for the intermediate renders, which I'm going to change to point into the render subdirectory and call those sky precomp as well. Version 1. And I'll render EXRs. When we render the precomp, all I want to render is RGB because I don't care about the other channels. And then finally, because we'll be replacing the original nodes with the precomp node, we get to choose what we want to do with the currently selected nodes. Do we want to keep them and just backdrop them to keep them in our main script? Do we want to just keep them as is or do we want to delete them? Since I want to clean up my main comp, I'm just going to delete them. And now finally, when I hit OK, it will generate the sky precomp version 1 nuke script. And in this case, we'll just overwrite the one that already exists on disk as the last step. Nuke prompts us to choose the node we want to use as the precomps output that will be fit into the main comps input. So crop 24 is the one we looked at a second ago and that's the one we need. So I'm just going to hit OK. And all my nodes are replaced by a single precomp node. So that makes my main comp a bit tidier. And in the panel you can see which Nuke script this precomp node references. And if we want to see the internals of this external script, we just hit open. And that opens a new instance of Nuke and shows us the nodes we just exported into the precom script. And at the bottom of the node that we designated as our precom's output, we'll see the write node that we defined with our sky precomp EXR sequence and the channels set to RGB. That's what we just did in the Python panel, followed by an output node. The output node is not strictly required in the precomp script, but it's a good idea to have it because it makes it very obvious which one of the nodes of the precomp script feeds into the main comp. So just to illustrate how this works now, I'm just going to bring up the viewer in my precomp and deactivate all the uh, the grade nodes, for example. Save this, and then back in my main comp, I'm going to hit reload, and we'll see the change of the external script. Oops. That's the wrong reload. That's the reload. And we'll see the change of our external precomp script reflected in our main comp because it's being pulled in through this node. You also notice that we get those input pipes. That's because when you create a precomp, that works in a very, very similar way to creating a group node, which means every unconnected node in your precomp or in your node selection, in your initial node selection, gets an input node. I want to get rid of those because we don't want any inputs. So I'm going to select them, go to edit node, up oh, sorry, edit select similar class, and that will select all the input nodes in my script. I'm just going to delete them and um, save again. And now if I go over here and reload the script, those input pipes disappear and everything is nice and tidy now. So back in our precomp, let's uh, just reactivate the grade and also add this little moon in the upper right corner. And this time I'm going to go ahead and save a new version. Well, actually, let, let me version up my uh, right node first. I'm just going to go Alt up arrow or edit node file name version up and Alt up arrow is the hotkey for that. So with the right node being version 2, we're just going to save a new version so our 
sky precomp becomes version 2 as well and then in our main comp we can use the same up versioning so I'm just going to hit old up arrow on my precomp which will change its version number and now point to the precomp version 2 script so you'll see that um, we can easily now hand this over to a matte painter to keep working on the sky and um, every time he saves we can reload and we get his updated work in context of our main comp also if this gets too heavy because this is actually live processing the external tree we can always choose to render this tree into its output and let me just render the first frame hit OK and once the render is done the option read file for output checks itself automatically the precomp node will go green and the auto label will tell you that it's now reading the image file from disk rather than the new script so this will obviously make your main comp run a lot faster. Now let's go back to our precomp script and let's say we want to keep control of that moon in our main script. So I'm just going to cut that from here and paste that into our main comp. And in order to combine the moon with our precomp script, we need an input pipe again. Since we deleted them, we'll have to go back and create a new input. I'm just going to attach the input node as a placeholder for the moon in our precomp script and save again. And back in our main comp, I'm just going to hit reload and we'll see two things. First of all, we'll get an error because the precomp script has changed on disk and therefore its rendered file may be out of date. So that's what this error is saying. So what you should be doing is uncheck read file for output to make sure that you're reading the up to date precomp script on disk again and now that we added an input node we also get the new pipe so we can now plug the moon in here in our precomp script and uh, keep control over it in the actual main comp but it's being combined with a precomp script according to where this input node is in the precomp script so that way you can sort of interlace almost your precomp and main comp and still create a collaborative workflow once all this is done, let's say we need to start a new shot and we want to start with that already existing precomp script. So all we need to do is create a precomp node with nothing selected. And if nothing's selected, all we get is an empty precomp node. We're skipping this whole panel business from the beginning. And we can just manually browse for that already established precomp. Let's find Sky Precomp version 2. Load that. And here we are. So now we can go ahead and start our new shot with this precomp script in place. 